Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 4th of December to the 8th of December 2017. As always, we're going to start with the US dollar index and oil before running through a number of currency pairs, looking at the key levels of support and resistance in the process and also highlighting some targets for the coming week and also uh, for the weeks ahead. So I hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index. Now, last week we were sitting just above the 92.635, and we said we were looking for a possible pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance, 93.455. And you can see we did have this price action and a chance for some shorts last week. And we were looking first of all back down to the bottom over here, the support area at the 92.635, but with an overall view to break in and continuing down towards this target at the 91.550, because we are currently in a near term downtrend in the US dollar index. So as you can see, we go into this week above the 92.635 again, and we're starting to form this range as we highlighted could be the case last week. So we go into next week with a neutral bias really on the dollar index. It means we're prepared to play the currencies either way, uh, and we don't have an overriding uh, strength or weakness bias in the dollar. Now, if we do start to get a breakdown below the 92. 635 we are going to then be going bearish on the dollar and we're going to be looking for shorts down towards the next key area of support as highlighted the 91.550 next we're going to have a look at oil now last week we actually started the week above the 58.79 so because we started the week above this area we were looking for a little bit more of a push up and some correction to take place before further advances to the upside and we're looking at a target in the next key area resistance to the upside at 61.74 now as i've mentioned a number of times in these videos these levels can be traded both ways and so as you can see when we started to break down below this we actually came straight back down to the previous support at the 56.83 now the counter trend moves are always more risky because we've highlighted the trend is to the upside however at the very least this did provide a great opportunity to get involved for any longs on the pullback and we're now sitting just below the 58.79 so going into next week we really only have two more options here is if we get a pullback and a retest of the 56.83 this would provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns for anybody who might not be involved early Earlier. but if you didn't get involved and you're kind of late to the party we don't like to jump into trades and so the best option is to wait for a break above 58.79 and if we get a break above the 58.79 and a correction similar to what we were looking at last week which didn't materialize we're going to be looking again at bullish formations and patterns to form above this area and we're going to be looking at taking those longs up towards the target in the next key area resistance as highlighted at the 61.74 so the first pair we're going to look at is the euro dollar. Now, last week we failed to break above the or break and stay above the 1.19370. Uh, and this was mainly due to the US dollar index failing to find any real direction and kind of going sideways. And you can see we did have counter trend opportunity here as well as when we failed, we came straight back down to the 1.18363. So going into next week, we are looking for further advances as the high probability move and we are looking for a break above the 1.19370. If we get a pull back to the 1.18363, this will provide an opportunity for anybody who wasn't involved in the market from last week to look for long formations and patterns in this area. And if you get those bullish formation patterns in this area, you can look to take those longs first, pull back up to what is essentially turning into the range top at the 1.19370, but with a view for a break and some accumulation above this area. And this will provide a second opportunity for longs for those bullish formations and patterns to materialize. And if we get those, we're going to be looking up towards the target, which we've had highlighted here for a week or so now at the 1.20770, which is the next key air resistance to the upside in the euro dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the pound dollar. Now, last week, the pound dollar performed nicely. We've got to break above the key air resistance at the 1.3341. And we said we we're looking up to the next key air resistance in the last week's target at the 1.3447. So you can see this pair performed quite nicely. And we actually got to break through this key air resistance 
and we started to pull back at the end of last week and we finished the week pulling back and retesting the 1.3447 but maintaining above this area so very simply put we go into next week looking for further advances in the pound dollar this is a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns and if we get those patterns we're going to be looking to take longs up towards the target and next key area of resistance to the upside the 1.3447 the next pair we're going to look at is the Aussie US dollar. Now, last week we were sitting at the 0 0.76274 and we were looking for shorts, first of all, down to the 0 0.75715. But overall, a continuation we're looking for in this move to the downside in the Aussie dollar uh, and further down towards the target of the 0 0.74888. Now, last week, we did get a chance to short down towards the first area here at 0 0.75714. But as you can see, we failed to break through and we actually pulled back and we finished the week sitting just underneath the 0 0.76274. So very simply put, we look for shorts around this area again, and we're looking for bearish formations and patterns. And if we get the bearish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking at taking shorts again, this time hoping to break through the 0 0.75715 down towards the next key area of support to the downside at 0 0.74888. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now last week we were sitting over here and we said we were looking for correction to take place before we looked for long positions up towards the next key air resistance to the upside. You can see starting to form a bit of a range top over here at 0 0.69530. And we came up into this area, actually came just short before we started to decline. And we came all the way back down to the 0 0.68217, which, as you can see, is starting to form a range bottom. And towards the end of the week, we actually uh, got some momentum into the upside. So very simply put, we just look for a similar play going into this week and the opportunity in New Zealand US dollar uh, we're looking for is a correction again to take place similar to what we had over here now if we get a correction down towards the 68400 that would be good enough however if we get a pullback and a retest of the range bottom at the 0 0.68217 obviously that would be preferable as we will get a better risk to reward ratio but we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns again if we get that corrective price action and we're going to be looking at taking longs back up to the range top at the 0 0.69530 the next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Swiss franc. Now, just before we look at this pair, I just want to highlight that next week we also have non-farm payrolls, which comes out the first Friday of every month. And this comes out of the US. And this is a piece of data that uh, all traders look towards as it can and often does produce a lot of volatility in the market. So please be aware of this next Friday if you're trading these opportunities. And also be aware we also have Australian and Canadian interest rate decisions next week, which again are considered high pieces of event risk. And you could see quite a bit of volatility coming to the markets off of these pieces of data. So please be aware of that going into next week. Now, looking over towards the US dollar Swiss franc, we can see the US dollar Swiss franc was a pair that performed nicely last week. We were looking for a pullback and a retest of broken support turning resistance at the 98 or the 0 0.98599. And we were looking for shorts from this area. And you can see we were looking down towards the target in the next key area of support to the downside at 0 0.97622. And we actually came down at the end of the week and broke through this key area of support and the target we had to the downside. And we actually finished the week down below this area. So very simply put, going into next week, we're looking for further declines in the US dollar Swiss franc. We'd like to see some correction take place here before we start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts down towards the first target in the next key area of support to the downside at 0 0.96480 and if we can get a breakthrough here we're looking to a secondary target to the downside and the next key area of support to the downside after that at the 0 0.95559 the next pair we're going to look at is the us dollar canadian dollar now last week us dollar cad uh, broke back down through this key area of support and resistance at the 1.27730 and this was off the back of some good data coming out of Canada on Friday. Now, very simply put, we just go into next week looking for further declines in the US dollar CAD. And if we get a pullback and a retest of broken or failed support here and we get a retest and this holds as resistance, this is going to be a great place to start to look for bearish formations and patterns. And we'll get this kind of bear flag formation. And we're going to be looking at taking shorts, first of all, down towards the next key area of support to the downside and the first target at the 1.26382. 
And if we can get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking towards a secondary target and the next key area of support to the downside at the 1.25675. The next pair we're going to look at is the Euro Japanese Yen. Now the Euro Japanese Yen has been in a bit of a range for a while now, but last week we had the Japanese Yen really struggling. And so we had this break above key area of resistance, the 133.324. And now we've had a break above this area. You can see we finished the week pulling back and retesting this broken resistance area as support. And so going into next week, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And we're going to be looking at taking those longs up towards the first target and the next key area resistance to the upside at 134.834. And if we get a breakthrough here, we're going to be looking up towards the secondary target and the next key area resistance to the upside at the 137.732. And the final pair we're going to look at this week is the pound yen. Now, last week, the pound yen broke up above the key area resistance at the 150.071. Now, this was off the back of a breakthrough in the Brexit negotiations and we saw some strength coming into the pound uh, and we finished the week correcting back down towards this area. So going into next week, very simply put, if we get further correction and we get a retest of broken resistance turning support at the 150.071, this is going to provide a great place to start to look for bullish formations and patterns. And if we get those bullish formations and patterns, we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the target and the next key area resistance to the upside at the 154.478. So that is it from me for this week, guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing and subscribing. A big thank you to those who like, share and comment on these videos on a regular basis. And also, of course, a big thank you to all of you who have already subscribed to the channel. The only thing left to say is I hope you all enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care and don't forget to trade safely.